record, drink some coffee. What is up guys? Welcome back to another one of my videos. Thank you all so much for tuning in as always. Today I'm gonna actually be talking about one of my favorite pair of shoes that are currently on the Balenciaga Croc Derby, which you guys have seen me style quite a few times over on Instagram. And by the way, if you don't follow me on there, make sure to follow me on there because that's where usually I post all these outfit pics. People seem to enjoy them. Thank you all the support on there. Coming back to these Croc Derbies, I'm gonna kind of just go over them real quickly and just show you guys some of the ways that I've styled them over the years because I think that They've been like such a tremendous, like versatile piece to own in my wardrobe. And you guys know that every time that I make these videos, I always like to emphasize the fact that, to be honest, I just kind of wear the same stuff over and over again. I just find pieces that work for me that I feel like can be used in different spaces for different events. So yeah, without further ado, let's hop into the video. Right here, uh, the Balenciaga Croc Derby. This is actually from their spring summer 2020 season. I bought these in January 2020 and I got so, so much wear out of it before we all went into quarantine and lockdown. But yeah, um, touching on the shoe real quick. So it has the Balenciaga logo right in front here. Just super chunky sole, as you can see, this is all rubber here. And I actually went true to size with these. I stuck with my size 42 because they did seem quite big. And they actually had um, a boot as well that was exactly the same sort of like texture and the same uh, calf skin croc uh, boot which looked really good as well. But as you guys know, I already have quite a few boots. So I was like, you know what, I feel like, and I needed a derby at the time. So I was like, I feel like these derbies would be perfect for uh, the spring, uh, summer 2020 and beyond that. One of the things that drew me to this pair obviously was the croc details. And I just kind of felt like I hadn't seen anything like this or I hadn't worn or had something in my wardrobe that was quite similar. And obviously this was a pair that I could wear with most of my sort of trousers, my shorts. And I just felt like it was such a good compliment into my wardrobe and I wasn't wrong because I ended up wearing them so, so much. So hopping into the first outfit actually. So for the first outfit, I kind of wanted to show you guys how usually I wore them during the uh, winter before it kind of started getting too cold and snowing. So at the bottom, we have these beautiful trousers by Spencer Badu, which I'm looking forward to wearing during the fall season because they look so good with my derbies and my boots and they flare out really well, as you can see on the boot. So this is sort of like, something that I would wear uh, at work or if I feel like dressing a little bit more relaxed and casual and just throwing on a long coat like I did here with this Le Mer coat. Now, you guys are gonna kill me. I've been saying I'm gonna do a recent pickups video. It's coming. I just need to sit down and start recording it. It's a quite a bunch of pieces that I've picked up here and there and some pieces that I kinda wanna pick up later. So I'm like, you know what, I'll wait until I have everything you know, until I've worn it a few times and then I'll give you guys a video. So definitely stay tuned for that. But anyway, this is a new Le Mer coat that I recently picked up and I'm absolutely in love with this one, man. It's, it, it looks insane. I'm actually might be traveling to Vancouver in, uh, in October, end of October. So I'm definitely looking forward to wearing this coat, man. I love the details on this coat, the drop shoulders, the arm sleeve, as you can see, just has this boxy and white silhouette. Uh, absolutely love this coat, man. And I'm actually so glad I got it in the gray colorway because I already have quite a few black coats uh, and my coat selection is just looking good right now. I won't lie, for the fall and winter season, it's looking real good. So anyway, then I finished off the look obviously with the derbies and then just a simple tank top. The bag is by Staderheim. Shout out to Staderheim for sending me this bag. And it goes really well with anything that I have. So this would definitely be more on the casual sort of relaxed side if you're someone that loves uh, wearing flared trousers, the nice chunky, a uh, pair of derbies, this would definitely be a good look. Uh, now what you can also do is, because the pants are quite wide, um, I think I could also select like a cropped jacket instead of a long jacket so you can see the details a little bit more on the uh, trousers. So yeah, that's it on the first look. We're gonna hop into the second look with the same derbies. So for the second look, I actually wanted to give you guys something that 
I feel like I'm more prone to wear because I'm someone that really loves cropped trousers more than flared trousers in my opinion. I usually tend to style a lot of my cropped trousers with like a nice pair of derbies, either my Vet Moan or this one here. So for the second look, we have the Studio Nicholson jeans, which again, you guys have seen countless times and these jeans always tend to come back and they look so, so good with the uh, Croc Derby by Balenciaga here because the shape of the jeans just sits so well on my body and also it gives you like a good look at the chunkiness of the shoe and the design of the shoe. So this is definitely why I enjoy wearing um, crop trousers because a lot of the times I find that like, if I wear like something flared like in my previous look, then you don't really get a chance to kind of see what the shoe looks like, right? Uh, but with a crop pair of trousers, you really get a look at this beautiful pair of derbies. And then at the top, I kind of just wanted to finish it again a little bit more casual because as we're getting into fall, so we have this beautiful Feeling Pieces jacket that was recently sent to me. Shout out to Feeling Pieces as well. And then finished off with just a little bit of light layering. You guys know I love my layering during the fall. So we have the vest by a cold wall and just a simple tank top. Tank tops are gonna be making a comeback once again because we're moving into fall. And you guys know I love incorporating tank tops in my layering, whether I'm layering it, uh, whether I'm layering it under a vest or just a jacket like I'm doing here. But yeah, um, this is definitely gonna be a look that I'm gonna be wearing during the fall season. I love the pair of jeans by Studio Nicholson, the white pair of jeans. I think it gives a good contrast with the derbies. And then obviously the super wide and super like oversized jeans jacket by feeling pieces. That was it on the second look. It was still pretty simplistic. Uh, oh, also I forgot to touch on the beanie. As you can see, the beanie kind of matches the jacket with the brown color. Um, this is something that I also tend to do in the fall season or even just in general when I'm styling. I definitely love incorporating like um, colorful beanies. I did that in my previous look with the blue beanie uh, just because I find that when I'm wearing too many like dark colors, then um, even though like I don't really mind doing that, especially in the winter, I'm usually just all dressed in black. But um, I also do find that it's important to kind of incorporate a little bit of colors into your wardrobe. You know, it can definitely give your outfit a whole new look and a good one on top of that. So yeah, uh, that was it on the second look. Let's hop into the final look with the Croc Derbies. So for the final look, I actually wanted to give you guys something a little bit more put together, maybe if you're going um, out, maybe you're going to a restaurant. So I decided to kind of keep it a little bit more on the slimmer side, not give you guys these oversized looks. So at the bottom again, we have the Croc Derbies. Then I pair them with these beautiful trousers actually that I've had for honestly like at least four or five years. They still fit perfectly and I've gotten so much wear out of them over the years. They are by this brand called Edition Paris and they're absolutely amazing, man. I love the color. Obviously, they're pleated trousers and they're cropped, which guys, you know I love. And they have just this beautiful cuff. So when I feel like sort of getting away from the old black look or just the black trousers, these are definitely a good pair to own. Uh, and then at the top, I just finished it off with the Prada shirt and just some sunglasses. So, and a crossover body bag, of course. Uh, this is definitely more on a sort of slimmer, sort of put together outfit, you know, and I still feel like the Croc Derby does its job in terms of like just elevating the look and making the whole look come together pretty neatly. So um, this look is definitely something that I would wear, mostly if I'm going to a restaurant or if I kind of feel like dressing up and not wear all these oversized pieces because you guys know like personally for me, I just prefer to be in like an oversized blazer or even like an oversized hoodie. And actually what I kind of did in this look was um, I uh, threw on this blazer here by Random Identities just to kind of show you guys that, you know, um, you could still look put together and also still kind of look a little bit casual, if that makes sense. So a blazer doesn't always have to be worn with like sort of like a tucked in shirt or just a tie. You know, you could definitely dress it down like I did here with just the Prada shirt, a nice pair of pleated trousers and then some derbies. Now, obviously this look would look great if I had thrown on like a black pair of trousers in my opinion. But I feel like, again, trying to incorporate a little bit of color 
colors like with beanies, vests, or even just tank tops. So yeah, I think that that's a good way to sort of play around with more things in your wardrobe. So yeah, uh, I have way, way more outfit on my Instagram as well for with these derbies, like so, so many outfit. So if you're looking for inspiration with regards to how to dress up derbies and different ways to wear them, definitely make sure to follow me on there. Like I said at the beginning of this video, definitely more outfit coming with these pair of derbies that I love so much. That is going to conclude today's video, guys. Thank you all so much once again for the continued support. Highly appreciate it. Do me one solid favor. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like because it helps me so, so much, man, so much. And on top of that, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to grow, trying to hit 20K by the end of the year. Hopefully we'll make it happen. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys hopefully in the Sunday vlog that I'm gonna start working on tomorrow. Thank you for watching, peace out.